Hi, I'm Don, and I'm going to show you how to draw Joy from Disney Pixar Inside Out. Here at the Animation Academy in Disney's Hollywood Studios, we teach you how to draw some of your favorite animated characters, including all five emotions from Disney Pixar Inside Out. First day of school. Very, very exciting. I was up late last night figuring out a new plan. Here it is. Joy is voiced by Amy Poehler, and she's kind of the leader of the five emotions. We're going to start off with a circle about the size of a golf ball. And since we're going to draw her full bodied from head to toe, we want to make sure that we can fit her entire body on the page. So we're going to put that circle right in the middle, just a little bit below the top of our piece of paper. And you want to make sure you keep your lines very, very, very light. I'm going to make mine a lot darker so that they show up on screen and you can follow along. But remember, when you're drawing her, Keep everything really, really light until the very end, and then we'll darken it in, and we'll make it look like you knew what you were doing. So once we have our circle, we need to figure out how tall she is. And she's about four and a half heads high. So we know how big her head is, so we're going to measure our circle, and then add a few more of them to show us how tall her body is. So that's one. And we'll do that again to make sure we keep her the right height. There's three and four. So that'll bring her right down to the very bottom of our piece of paper. So her feet are going to be right at the bottom of the page. We're also going to have her holding up a memory. And the memory is a little ball, and it's the same size as her head. So we're going to draw one more head above our original circle. So that's going to be where her memory is going to sit as she holds it up in her hand. So she's going to take up the entire page, top to bottom, because we're drawing her entire body. So to start her out, now that we have her head, we know how tall she's going to be. She's basically a stick figure. So everybody knows how to draw a stick figure, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to find the center of her face, and then we're going to draw a nice stick figure underneath. The middle of her face is just off center of our circle. So if this is the middle of your circle, we're going to move a little bit to the side, and that's going to be the middle of her face, and we're going to take that line and swing it all the way down to the bottom of the page, kind of like the curved part of a capital letter D. So you want it to line up right underneath of her head. And that's going to be the main part of her body. Her leg starts right about halfway between the middle of her body, between circles two and three, right here. So that's going to be her hip. Her other leg is going to extend down to halfway between these two circles. So if you want to add a little guideline across, you can, and it's going to stretch out just like that at about 45 degree angle or so. So if you measure her leg from hip to the end of her feet, it's about the same for both legs. So there's the start of our stick figure. Her arms are going to sit just underneath of her head. So this is her neck and her arms and shoulders are right about here. This arm is going to extend upward to hold up that memory ball. Her other arm is going to come out in this direction. So there you go. There's the start of your stick figure. And if you can draw that, you can draw Joy from inside out. So once we have the shape of her body, we can start to add some of the basic parts and features. And we'll begin with her face first. Her eyes sit in the middle third of her head. So if you want to divide her head into equal thirds, that's going to tell you where to place her eyes. They're going to sit between those two guidelines. They're nice big oval shapes. One on each side of our center line. So there are her eyes. Underneath of her eyes, we're going to add her mouth. And Joy is incredibly happy. She's always positive. So we're going to give her a great big smile. 
and then her lower lip is going to curve right underneath. So it kind of looks like a little banana. For her hair, we're going to start here at the top of our circle, about halfway between the eye and the edge of our circle. And her hair is going to sweep down over the top of her eye, and then we'll curve it back up a little bit, and then sweep over the top of her other eye to the edge of our circle. So it almost looks like a sideways lightning bolt. From that starting point of her hair, her sideburns are going to curve down to the bottom of the eye. We'll go a little bit lower and then curve it right back up to the edge of the circle and then back down along the circle again. Again, like a lightning bolt. The outside of her hair is going to curve over the top of her head and then come to a little bit of a point right in line with the edge of your circle. From the bottom of this lightning bolt, we're just going to curve it all the way and connect them together. So there's her fun little hairdo. For the rest of her body, we're going to add her dress. And she wears this beautiful sparkle filled dress. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger than our stick figure. So we're going to follow the curve of her body all the way down just below her hip. So we're basically drawing that same curve a little bit bigger. And we're going to curve it up toward her other leg and then fill in the other side of her dress as we swing it from her shoulder all the way down. Oh, there's her cute little skirt. All we have left to do is to thicken up her arms and legs, add a little more detail to her face, and then we can start to finish her up. So for her arms and her legs, we're going to thicken those lines up a little bit. I'm going to start with this one here. All we're going to do is make it a little bit fatter. So it comes to a little bit of a point at the end. And that's it. There's her leg. On this side, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add her little foot at the bottom so she can balance. So as her leg comes down, we're going to add a little bit of her foot sticking out. So there's her other leg. For her arms, kind of the same thing. We're going to thicken it up. And since this arm is going to be holding up her memory, we'll add a little hand at the end so her memory can balance on the end of it. And on this arm, we're just going to have her hand come up in a nice little fun way. Almost looks like a hook or a little candy cane at the end. The memory that's going to balance on her hand, again, is another circle about the same size as her head. So we're going to add that circle right here at the top of her hand. And very, very lightly as you work out the shape of that circle. And the last features that we need to add before we polish her up, we're going to give her some pupils. Nice big circle sitting here inside her eye. One on each side there. And we're going to add a little bit of her teeth. So she's got that nice big smile. Kind of looks like a sideways number seven. Sitting right there inside of her mouth. And of course, her little neck. The last thing we're going to do is add some sparkles to her dress. And a really easy way to add the sparkles 
I'm just going to draw some very light little circles going all the way down her dress. You can put them wherever you like. And then we're just going to draw a few little lines around them. So the circles are kind of hidden, but you will see the little sparkles as they stick out and make her dress all cute and blingy. So once we have all of our lines and our shapes and something that looks kind of sort of like joy, now we're going to find what we want and we're going to go over it and darken it in. And you can see how those nice dark lines really start to take over. Everything else fades away and disappears into the background. Just like an animator or a cartoonist or a comic book artist would draw their character, that's exactly what we've done here today. So we're going to go over, we're going to find what we like, we're going to ignore the rest, and we are going to look like a professional Disney animator. To shade her in, the only things that really need to be shaded in are the inside of her mouth, around her teeth, and her pupils. We'll darken those in. And if you want, you can add a very, very light hint of color to her hair, which is a nice shade of blue. So you can just very lightly shade that in. Or if you have colored pencils or crayons, you can color it in blue. You can just add a little color to her hair. When you're finished, make sure you sign your name at the top, bottom, right, or left. And there you go joy from inside out. Come see me and all of our other great artists here at the Animation Academy at Disney's Hollywood Studios where we'll teach you how to draw dozens of your favorite Disney and Disney Pixar characters. I hope I get to see you here on your next visit to Walt Disney World.